Hey folks, medical hypnotherapist Roger Moore here. This is a continuation of my TikTok, Grace, Loving Yourself in the Process, Part 1. In his book, The Heart Aroused, the poet David White tells us that we don't get to selectively love the part of someone or ourselves that is in the light. We must also embrace the part that's in the shadow. So yes, you get to embrace your dark side. You get to embrace the first wolf. David White also wrote an essay, Shadow, in which he says, to live with our shadow is to understand how human beings live at a frontier between light and dark, and to approach the central difficulty that there is no possibility of a lighted perfection in this life, that the attempt to create it is often the attempt to be held unaccountable, to be the exception, to be the one who does not have to be present or participate, and therefore does not have to hurt or get hurt. Being the greatest expression of you means you live with and embrace your shadow. As a human, you experience anger and hurt and fear and sadness. These are normal, natural, and yes, healthy emotions. As White describes it, <clears throat> being the greatest expression of you casts its own shadow. Mythologically, having no shadow means being of another world, not being fully human. To live with our shadow is to understand how human beings live at a frontier between light and dark and to approach the central difficulty that there is no possibility of lighted perfection in this life, that the attempt to create it is often an attempt to be held unaccountable, to be the exception, to be the one who does not have to be present or participate, and therefore does not have to hurt or get hurt. To cast no shadow on others is to vacate the physical consequences of our appearance in the world. Shadow is beautiful, inverse confirmation of our incarnation. So treat yourself with grace. Be nice, be kind, be the greatest expression of you, and love yourself through the process.